All right, let's talk about getting to the faith moment. Maybe you've taken foundations and you've learned this first truth that we start by trusting Jesus. Well, this video will help you to do just that, to put your trust in Jesus Christ. But first, let's talk a little bit about faith. Faith requires these two things. First of all, the right information about us and Jesus. Look at what Jesus himself said in John chapter 8. He said, unless you believe that I am who I claim to be, you will die in your sins. Two things. Look, first of all, he's making it pretty clear that we're sinners, that we're sinful and we need a savior. Okay, the other thing he's saying is that what we believe about him is critically important. We have to believe that he is who he claimed to be. So see, this is what we mean when we say you need the right information about not just who you are and your sinfulness, but also who Jesus is. Now, this doesn't mean you have to be some great theologian or have every question of yours answered from the Bible. But it's really important to have the basics about who Jesus is. Make sure that you get Jesus right. Now, we've got a video in the library to help you with that if you need more help with it. But there's the first thing. Faith requires the right information about us and Jesus. Here's the second thing. We also need to have the right attitude toward Jesus. In Acts chapter 2, Peter had just preached his first sermon, and the Bible says that his words pierced the hearts of those who were listening, and they said, brothers, what should we do? They basically understood that they were sinners in need of a Savior. And look at what Peter said. Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God. Now, don't get hung up on this fancy word repentance. It basically just means having the right attitude toward Jesus, turning from your sins, saying, I don't want to do that anymore, and turning toward Jesus. It doesn't mean that you have to be perfect because you won't be. It doesn't mean you won't sin again. But it's critically important that you not just have the right information about Jesus, but also that you have the right attitude toward him, that you're turning to him in faith, in humility, in submission, and you're saying to him, I need you to save me and I don't want to do this stuff anymore. And listen, when you respond in faith to the free gift of salvation offered through Jesus Christ, you will be saved. It doesn't take a lifetime of good works to fix your relationship with God. It happens in a single moment. Now, we call that your faith moment, and it's your life's defining moment. There's no greater moment in your life. And here's why. Because when you first trust Jesus for your salvation, in a moment, your past is forgiven. Your shame, your guilt, all of that stuff is taken care of because of what Jesus did on the cross. And your present is transformed. The Bible says that when you put your faith in Jesus, you become a new creation. And on top of that, your future is promised. The Bible says that eternity is yours with God in heaven. That's how important your faith moment is. Now, I know it sounds way too good to be true, but it really is all over the Bible. Here's another verse, Romans 10. It says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Pay careful attention to that verse. It doesn't say you have to do anything else. The Bible says you're saved when you put your faith in Jesus Christ. So listen, if you've never done this before, here's a great sample, sinner's prayer. Now there's nothing magical about these particular words, but if it's helpful, go ahead and hit pause and use this and pray this to God, even right now. Make sure to do it with a Christian friend or a mentor. Or maybe you're not sure yet if you're ready for your faith moment, you wanna talk a little bit about it first. Go ahead and hit pause and do that now, but be sure to get to your faith moment if you've never done it. It's the most important moment of your life.